Time now is 544 and we continue to follow acts of kindness during this coronavirus pandemic. And today we're highlighting a Washington County high school sophomore who found himself with some extra time on his hands when the schools were closed. So he decided to turn that time into a way to help people get their groceries. Cor Harlan live this morning to tell us more about the team's new endeavor. It's pdxdeliver.com. Cor. Good morning, Ken. You know, the young man you're about to meet uh, started out here by helping his own grandmother get groceries. And he went to the store to get grandma's groceries. He looked around and he saw a lot of other people in the store just like his grandmother. Vulnerable populations of older people he thought were needlessly exposing themselves to the virus. Before he knew it, Neil Jane, a sophomore at Westview High School, was going to the store and picking up and delivering groceries for a broadening circle of people beyond just his grandmother. Yes, he did have some idle time now that school was out, but also he wanted to do something to stop elderly people from needlessly endangering their health just to get groceries. So I just wanted to help out some of the elderly people in my community because these were the people that were most at risk of getting COVID-19. So I just, I've been delivering groceries to them as well as some of my uh, friends. It's a community service project free to people who really need the help. Serving Portland, Beaverton, Hillsborough, Lake Oswego and Clackamas so far, but with aspirations to expand the footprint of their delivery service. People go to their website, pdxdeliver.com, send a grocery list. Neil and his help circle get the groceries and then leave them at people's doorstep and pick up a payment. It's a contactless delivery. It's great for people who don't want exposure to the virus, but Neil says it's also giving him a bigger sense of purpose as well. The response has been really amazing. Like people give us thank you cards and they, and like they have definitely, like sometimes they open the door when we're right driving right out and it's cool to see like the smile on their faces and they've definitely given us a lot of nice uh, compliments. There are no delivery fees. Their website says they are just glad to help some of the most vulnerable people in our community not expose themselves to risk simply by shopping for groceries. Boy, what a great sense of consciousness for a sophomore in high school. Kid has got uh, his act together there. Uh, it is pdxdeliver.com. And uh, it is, as I mentioned in the story, it is primarily, Ken, for people who are in that vulnerable population of people, elderly people, essentially. Uh, he doesn't want them going to the stores. He'll go to the store for you. And one final thing, he called me yesterday on the way home from work, says he has finally uh, got the paperwork finalized. He is now registered as a limited liability company. So after this pandemic goes away, there may be a pdxdeliver.com in the future as well. Yeah, a uh, great idea and a great service. Uh, you really have to tip your hat to that young man. Thank you very much, yeah. Cor. Well, today Pizza Hut is